Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeuser.com with a game guide for the long dark. This guide will show you how to forge arrowheads, a vital component when making bows and arrows. The forging mechanism was introduced in the September 2015 update, so if you see my previous video on how to craft a bow and arrow, you'll be disappointed to hear that you can no longer craft an arrowhead on a workbench, unless they change it back in a future update. To forge an arrowhead, you need to be standing in front of a forge. You'll need to have the usual equipment to reliably light a fire, then you'll need lots of coal to make the fire hot enough. Finally, you'll need to have scavenged a heavy hammer, often found in red tool drawers, and some scrap metal, which is found in many places around the game. A lantern is handy to see what you're doing at the forge, but it isn't essential. OK, let's break that all down. First, we'll look at coal, which is something you can gather en route to the forge. Coal can be found in any of the abandoned mines in the game, which are mostly in transitional zones between the major areas. Look for the nuggets on the ground and pick them up. You'll need about eight nuggets for one forging session. Now we move on to the forge. There's one located in a ship in Desolation Point. More forges may be added in future updates, but for now you'll have to go here. Desolation Point is the fourth large area to be introduced into the game, and if you've never been there before, it connects to Coastal Highway at the end of the Long Road. If you need more guidance, see my video How to Get to Desolation Point via Crumbling Highway. Once you arrive in Desolation Point, work your way down to the highway, keeping an eye out for wolves. At the highway, turn left. Follow it along the coast for a short while until you get to the bridge. Work your way down from the bridge and make out across the ice. Go around the rock and you'll soon see a ship in the water. Go to the ship, locate the entrance, and make sure you click the mouse button when it says ship or it won't properly let you in. Once inside the ship, go to the far end, lighting your lantern or other light source if this proves tricky to navigate. Once at the far end, you'll find the furnace and forge where you'll craft the arrowheads. First of all, you need to access the furnace by clicking on it. Light the furnace, which is the same mechanism as any other stove, and you'll need wood for this, plus the usual helpers to get the fire going. Once the fire is going, you need to make the furnace much hotter. You have to wait a bit of time before you can add the coal, so make use of the stove any way you can, such as heating a bit of food. Now add the coal. Each lump of coal gets the furnace's temperature higher, and you'll discover you need around 8 pieces of coal to get the furnace over 150 degrees. You can add them all in one go if you want. Once the temperature exceeds the magical 150 degrees mark, you can actually use the forge. There's a few things you can make at the forge, but here we're making arrowheads out of scrap metal and using the heavy hammer as the tool. One piece of scrap metal is required per arrowhead, and each arrowhead requires an hour to craft. Luckily, the furnace is fully stoked for many hours. So now you have your arrowheads. And yes, doing this is quite the mission, so you should only do this when you have enough scrap metal to make several arrowheads. Otherwise, you're going to waste a lot of time and coal. From here, you can go and craft arrows at a workbench. There's one in the mine on the way back from Desolation Point to Coastal Highway, if you're on your way back. If you need a reminder on crafting everything else for your bow and arrow, check out my previous video on the subject. Just stick your fingers in your ears where it tells you how to craft arrowheads on a workbench. OK, thanks for watching this game guide for the long dark. Uh, click the subscribe button if you'd like future videos about this game, and plenty of other stuff as well. Also check out my previous videos on the long dark, there's lots of handy information there, including how to get achievements such as it was this big. And no, that's about fish, not penis. Anyway, that's it. I've been Jamie from randomiseuser.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.